Hello, good morning. Welcome to another time of KHC video devotional for the 21st of October. And the topic we are looking at is how to have a successful relationship or marriage. And this is for singles. In Proverbs 23, verse 12, the Bible says, Applying thy heart unto instruction and then here's to the words of knowledge. In the things of God, you are expected to grow. Just like physical food makes us grow, develop, and have strong bones, the same way your spirit man or the inner man ought to grow. And um, when we look at, uh, uh, when we start out in God, you may be 25 years old, but you are actually a spiritual baby. That is why the Bible talks about the milk of the word and the meat of the word. The more you search God's word, attend Bible studies, learn to pray, the more you will grow and master your situation and circumstances. Relationships or marriages do not work out because you are a Christian. It works out because you know what to do. Being born again ensures you make heaven. But what ensures victory on earth is to know what to do in specific situations and your ability to draw wisdom from God's word. If marriage is an institution, learning is inevitable. As a matter of fact, your success in that marriage is predicated on your ability to learn principles and apply them. Knowledge of God's word will set you free. What you know can push you to the top of the ladder. What you don't know can get you demoted. So it is in the things of the spirit. No wonder the devil does all things possible to make sure that you don't study God's word. Ever wondered why your eyes are so bright when you're watching a film and you're so alert, but you start to doze when it comes to God's word? The one that studied God's word through the night and the one that made calls, talking sweet nonsense, will not have the same result at the end of the day. One is sowing to the flesh and the other to the spirit, and there will be a distinguishing. Learning from God's word constantly is a must if you will have victory. There are three processes involved here. The first is knowledge acquisition. Knowledge is the accumulation of facts. Read wide, search for answers. Don't just assume. Assumption is the lowest form of knowledge. The difference between you and the person you admire is that person is what that person knows. The second process is understanding. Understanding is the arrangement of facts. Now you have read, but you must process the facts and sort them. Meditate on them. The third process is wisdom. It is the application of knowledge. When you apply what you have learned, that becomes wisdom for you. That is why Proverbs 23, 12 says, apply your heart to instruction. In preparing for marriage, money is not the most important thing. Proverbs 8, 10, receive my instruction and all silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. When you have instruction, money will eventually come. In Proverbs 4, 13, the Bible says, take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. Another translation says to us in Proverbs 4, 13 message, hold tight to good advice. Don't relax your grief. Guard it well. Your life is at stake. Dear couples, or couples to be, hold on tight to wisdom because your marriage is at stake. Dear wife or wife to be, beauty is not the only thing you need. Beauty without gumption is ugliness. Sound, practical knowledge is essential. Proverbs eleven twenty two. As a jewel of gold in a swine's snout, so is a fair woman which is without discretion. Message translation says, like a gold ring in a pig's snout is a beautiful face on an empty head. If you are still single, keep on developing yourself. The Bible says, either find a wife, not either find a sister or babe. Either finds a wife. How do you become a wife without being asked out? By developing yourself. And knowing what it takes to be a wife. A wife material is what every man is looking for. Their yeah, husband to be, you will eventually become the head of the house and give direction to your wife and ultimately your children. Are you ready? Are you currently learning? Are you ready to give the necessary and right leadership, not only to your future wife, but to your future children as well? There is no special anointing that comes on you or your wedding day, on your wedding day. But you have a whole life on your hands from that day. Keep at self-development. As married couples, make sure you put the word of God first place in your family. 
That is where your preservation is. At those times when you are under pressure, the thing to do is not to run to friends, but to run to God. And He will always be there to hear you and hearken to the cry of your heart. Think about it. That thing in your heart right now that you are struggling with, did you mention it to God? That business of financial challenge. Rather than think and think until you start getting lean, why don't you talk to your Father in heaven? That one person that needs to sign that contract or approve the deal, have you realized that in Proverbs 21 verse 1, the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, as the rivers of water, he turned it whithersoever he will. Why don't you go over to God and drop all the alternatives? All you need to pray to God is to go before him with his, mouth, with his words in your mouth. I pray for you this morning that the heavens be open over you and that every door that seems closed, may it open this day of its own accord in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation for the day. Proverbs 13, 18. Poverty and shame shall be to him that refuses instruction, but he that regarded reproof shall be honored. Prayer for the day. Number one, Lord, give me a heart that pants after your word daily. Prayer number two, O oh Lord, open the heavens over me and my relationship. Prayer number three, my father, open the door of marriage unto me this year. Please take some time and pray this prayer and then take this confession after me. I keep at self-development. I do not relent in my quest for knowledge. Knowledge is sweet to me. I go for knowledge. Understanding is my king's man. Discretion will preserve me. Understanding will keep me. I search for knowledge daily. Wisdom enters my heart. I am an ardent student of the word. I feast on the word daily. The word does me good all my life. Action plan for the day. Decide to build a marriage library. Number two, get books and materials on marriage. and Learn as much as you can. Chronological Bible reading for the day. John 12, 37 to 50. Mark 11, 12 to 14, Matthew 21, 18 to 22, Mark 11, 15 to 19, Matthew 21, 12 to 17, Luke 19, 45 to 48, Mark 11, 20 to 33, Matthew 21, 23 to 27, and Luke 20, 1 to 8. This particular devotional is taken from a singles devotional book. You can get uh, a paperback edition or Kindle edition on Amazon, and you can also get a digital edition on Okada Books. To get the books, navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandox.com slash books. Also, we'd like you to partner with us on Kisses and Ox Club. It will enable us to reach more people in order to give with different options available from anywhere in the world Kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandhawks.com slash give. Also, if you live in the city of Ibadan, we'd like to welcome you to worship with us if you don't have a place of worship yet. Uh, Sundays, 8 o'clock, and the church is Shouts of Grace Center at Joker Plaza beside Trans Amusement Park, Bodiga, UI Road. You can miss it. Also, uh, we want to intimate you of our devotional website, which is at kissesandox.com. God bless you. Thanks for joining today. See you tomorrow. Bless you.